third paragraph is titled internationalism is back and 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 talks about how obama reached out to the world and and then there's just some general nonsense about how obama was a president for all the world's people whereas trump cozied up to dictators and I, nobody can argue with the part about trump cozying up the dictators obviously but Obama also cozied up the dictators in some ways deep in decades of US imperial policy on earth illegal drone wars drone wars you know global surveillance try uh, hunting down the people that let the people of the world know they were spying on them like uh, Edward Snowden supported coups in Honduras and Libya and Paraguay and Brazil I mean it's like the, it's it's um it, it's it's just it's just wild to me to see like supposed progressive yeah. outlets pretending none of that stuff ever happened and 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 just looking at the not, spectacle just looking at the spectacle of no but he went around and he apologized in egypt and he and, you know whatever uh signed the paris climate agreement and then did absolutely nothing to live up to it and then when bragged at a conference with the oil and gas industry that he got more he increased oil production more than any president had in history I've, you know but we're going to celebrate him for having signed the paris climate agreement instead of for being a corrupt hypocrite I'm sorry to talk this way about some of the people who sore dear, but like yeah. facts are facts and you gotta, it's some, I'm, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm reading stuff that's driving me crazy. Yeah. Listen, the, the Barack Obama, um, the Barack Obama era, it's funny because if you look at the, the Democrat candidates in this go round in 2020 in the primaries, there were several points where in order to get at Biden, they would go hard at Barack Obama, particularly on immigration and a couple of other foreign policy stuff, but really immigration. Mm -hmm. and try a, you know, um, it's funny that within just a, a matter of four years, you can go from the darling, and he's still the darling. I think he's got like 92%. I forget the last, I, we're going back to polls. Fuck that, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but uh, the- um, No more polls. I remember getting into some serious heated conversations over Barack Obama from 12 years ago. And, you know, how could I not see the beauty uh, of this moment? And I was like, yo, I see the beauty of the moment. Of I understand the histor historical, um, this moment. But at the same time, like, you know, we need to talk about the stuff that matters. And so eight years later, you see that people are, people don't speak about Barack Obama as this transformative figure. Mm. And I want to say that that's in part because he wasn't pushed to be that. So we're actually we're actually at fault. Like if we if we look at, um, you know, he comes into office and the mood was just this mood of support and energy and like support for his candidacy. Yeah. It made him a less good president. Yeah. And his and his legacy. Um, that's it. Uh, demonstrates that. And I think I think if we want I think if we want people who want to see Biden and Kamala Harris become. Um, you know, valued historical figures who who, who really pushed the lead, the lead. I'm sorry, pushed the needle towards justice. Mm -hmm. Then the first thing we have to do is accept our duty to push and cajole and criticize. Yeah. Um, and to do so in a very serious way. Yeah, and I mean, as long as we acknowledge that that Occupy Wall Street and Black Lives Matter both started under Obama, and so there, it's not like there was no progressive movements you know pushing at that at that point it and then was a progressive and then movement, he, yep. he but it did take a while to build yeah like the everything all, all the anti-war uh anti-surveillance anti-torture all these things that were happening under under bush you know like the, the the marches against the iraq war were the biggest in history and i believe for like a one day march um i remember those man those were nutty yeah and and yeah, that got, 2008, that. that was a race. Like, like the, it, it all, all that energy went into the Obama campaign, and then it was like, oh, f you know, phew, the nightmare is over. And I, and I feel like we're seeing that all over again, but with a much less inspiring figure in Joe Biden, and these same industry slash party hacks picking up all the, all the power in the positions, and yeah, you know, it's it's um. Okay, here I'll give you. Okay, while we're on Obama. Okay. It's because I do believe this history matters. I don't want to sound like trashing Obama, blah, blah blah. But not just Obama, but the Obama administration. What happened during that eight years is super important to the future it going is. forward. If we're ever going to actually address anything like climate change, 
or any massive inequalities or in any way diminish the outrageously undemocratic power that Wall Street has. Um, the If you look at... I was reading an article about how Joe Rogan's podcast is now uh, going to be exclusively on Spotify and that you're going to have to you're going to have to be on Spotify to get the most popular podcast on earth like it or hate it uh, Joe Rogan and so I was reading this article in Vulture it's like a media media website media analysis and uh, mm-hmm. the guy was talking about a, a nice a good writer talking about how you know Joe Rogan's way of speaking and, and the scandals he gets into are going to put uh Spotify, which fashions itself as a modern company uh, with some woke sensibilities, is is gonna Spotify is gonna find itself in trouble. And so that and he ends with this paragraph. Um, I reckon as we drift deeper into the muck of Joe Rogan getting into trouble, there's a real possibility that it might get harder for people to square the Spotify that has an exclusive deal with the Obamas with the Spotify with the Spotify that has an exclusive deal with Joe Rogan. In this guy's mind. Okay, on the on the virtue <laughs> spectrum of podcasters, which is, you know, podcasters representing everybody. I'm sh- I'm sure, um, Henry, uh, what the hell is this? I can't even think of his name. I'm sure there's like pl- plenty of work and stuff that have podcasts. The if that on the spectrum here, he's got Joe Rogan at the end of like potential damage. You know, like trouble yeah. causing trouble in the world. Because he might say he's a stand-up comedian who might say things that I definitely disagree with, and I think other people would, um, from time to time, is over here a danger zone, and Obamas are the the example he just grabs to be the paragon of virtue. How is Spotify going to square having Obama, the drone bomber of seven countries, the deporter of four hundred thousand Latinos, uh, the uh, I don't know mass surveillance king, the person who handed over the keys to the treasury to wall street how uh, the person who signed the paris climate agreement and then and then increased oil production how are they going to square having him on there with this guy who says some things from time to time that people don't like and this is this is the society the the guy with the with the drones the guy who ordered uh innumerable drones the person who used the espionage act um, on to, whistleblowers. To get whistleblowers, you mentioned that the uh, the um, you know th- there's so many other things, but um, but nobody speaks. Yeah, well. it's funny. He speaks well. Yeah, exactly. So he's not a problem. That's, you know, that's this writer is. There's so many problems with the thing. He's not talking about an actual analysis of of who Obama was. He's simply talking about the fact that Obama is a very well liked guy yeah and and the legacy so far of obama particularly as he's sandwiched between the the guy who invaded iraq and like this orange blob of you know idiot who's about to leave office um you know barack obama comes out smelling like fantastic roses and that's that's all he's doing he's not you know and and that's he's paid to write words and and that's what he wrote you know wrote some words 